Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this past week, I just finished three books, which is pretty insane. I haven't picked up a book for myself since high school. So this year, I've just been trying to read a little bit more. And so today, I thought I would do a Barnes & Noble vlog for you guys. And I think I might do a little bit of manga shopping as well. So that will be super exciting. But let's go with this video. Heavy, heavy. This is so heavy. I just want to talk a little bit about reading. So just a little bit of backstory. It's the beginning of the year I started reading Atomic Habits, which I really enjoyed. I read this within like two weeks. It was like super fast and I was just like really impressed with myself because I just haven't read anything in a long time. And so I was super excited about this and I would highly recommend this. And then after that, I actually ended up reading The Mountain Is You because a lot of my favorite influencers were reading this and so I wanted to pick it up as well. I started reading this in February and unfortunately, I actually just finished it in August or September. And and that was because like it just really lost me in the midway point and in that time frame I was definitely just like busy doing other things as well I really didn't want to read because of this book because I started reading this I didn't want to try reading a new book because then I would never like go back and finish this honestly it was not my favorite I would agree with a lot of other reviews that I feel like it's very just more like Instagrammable quotes I'd say the first like third of the book I actually enjoyed but then the rest of the book I did not like at all I would actually pass this and then after after reading The Mountain Is You, I actually got out of my reading slump and actually read In Five Years and The Unhoneymooners pretty much within the same week and it was just so insane. I was like, man, when I actually enjoy a book, I can actually read. In Five Years is about a woman who is interviewing for her dream job. Her boyfriend just reposed, but then one fateful night she wakes up five years later and she's in a new apartment with a new man. Then she goes back in time or present day. It just kind of develops from there. Definitely not your typical romance book. It definitely threw me for a loop because I was expecting more of just romance but it was completely different from what I expected. I do enjoy reading this. It's definitely a different take of just that time travel essence. So I do just like that little magical element. I would definitely say to pick it up. And then the Unhoneymooners. Now this is actually a true rom-com which is what I really wanted in a book. But essentially what happened is that the bride which is her sister the main character. Everybody else gets food poisoning except her and the enemy and so they decide to go to the honeymoon together because it's free. And of course love transpires. I would definitely recommend reading this if you want a true rom-com romance book. So I've gone to Barnes & Noble a few secondhand shops as well and I have to say Barnes & Noble is way too overpriced. I'm sorry but it just is. I've only went to Barnes & Noble in the past to buy mangas because that was really the only place that you could actually purchase them. Now you can actually get it from Target and they're way cheaper than Barnes & Noble and you can get that discount too. So if I'm gonna be honest I bought nothing from Barnes & Noble and that was because all the books that I wanted to purchase from there were cheaper online from either on target.com or you can buy them from thrift books which is just a secondhand online shop you can still get them for a really good condition for a cheaper price the only reason why i bought these books were because they were cheaper i compared the thrift store secondhand price to thriftbooks.com and if i knew that i could get it cheaper on thriftbook.com then i would not have purchased it so all of these books i only got them because they were cheaper all of these books i got for 10 and under per book which is a really great deal 
a while back, Target was having a 20% off the books, and I think it was just because of the back to school season, which I absolutely love. Get that savings. I to get Beach Read by Emily Henry right here. Now, I saw this on YouTube and also TikTok as well. A lot of people hyping it up, so I decided to pick it. In this book, there's two different writers, and they end up living next to each other, and they're both in a writing slump. Now, one of them is a romance writer, and the other one is literature. She takes him on like love montage road trips to inspire him, and then he also takes her to like interview back with Steph cult numbers. I'm only 24 pages in so I haven't really gone that far. I've heard really good things about that but this is my first book that I got from Target. So next up I have is 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. Now I actually don't know too much about this. It just looked kind of interesting from the back and it says a love story, a mystery, a fantasy, a novel, self-discovery, a dystopia to rival George Orwell. 1Q84 is a tremendous feat of imagination for one of our most reviewed contemporary writers. Now I think this has about 1500 pages plus and it's definitely something I have never read this much before in like one book so I'm actually really excited so this book is The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa Professor he's only able to remember 80 minutes of his life at the beginning because of a head injury and then the housekeeper and the son they kind of revolve around each other so this is pretty short it has about 170 pages I've never read anything of Yoko Ogawa but I'm actually really excited and I really like the covering I think it's super pretty I like how small it is and I think it's gonna look really pretty on my shelf so next up I have is red white and royal blue now i picked this up because ava jules really liked it about this book alex his mother became the president of the united states and then tabloids they got a photo involving alex and henry who is in the british relation they got an altercation and then now they have to make it seem that they are like friends and it turns into something more than that love which i'm really excited to read about so now this is the more educational self-help book that i picked up and the first one is the seven habits of highly effective people by stephen covey i wasn't sure if i wanted to pick this up because i already read atomic habits but jenum who i really like she actually recommend to still like read these two this one will come first and then this one is more of like a follow-up jenum has a really high regards for this book so i actually ended up picking this up and i was like okay let me just try it out i'm really excited to read this book i just haven't started yet because i actually started reading my next book which I will show you guys this one is thinking fast and slow by Daniel Kahneman now this is a psychology book it explains our system one brain system two the first one is more fast intuitive emotional our second one is more slower logical it talks about how we make decisions I decided to pick this up because it was recommended to me when I was looking at UI UX design books for this one I'm 70 pages in it's about like 480 pages of this and so I have read a little bit enough to be like okay I can kind of see where this is going not gonna lie, some parts I do have to reread simply because it's written in a way that it's more of like an academic study. So far, I would recommend it. I think it definitely explains a little bit more of the way we think. The last book I have is The Design of Everyday Things by Donald Norman. Now, if you are in design, I'm sure you guys have seen this book. Once again, I decided to pick this up because I'm looking at UI UX design books and this was recommended to read. A lot of people say that this is like the Bible of design, but a lot of people also argue that it's not. It's really just a way to read things of how we think of design i'm sorry that was so bad this is about 217 pages so it will be a little bit quicker to read i have started to read the pdf file of this in the past i realized that i'm just not an ebook person i would rather have the physical book with me and so i actually ended up deciding to get this but that was it for this book vlog and haul video if you guys enjoyed it definitely don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys